everyone. It's Mrs. M, and thanks for joining me for Where in the World Wednesday. So let's figure out where we're going to go today. It's south of Sunnyside, so it's not Canada. And you might play on the Acapulco beaches, maybe in the water on the white sands, or you might go to the Yucatan Peninsula and check out some ancient Aztec ruins. Hmm, Aztec. Maybe you've heard of those kind of people before. Well, we're going to Mexico, so grab your sombreros and let's go. Welcome to sunny Mexico. Before we learn our song and game, let's learn about this awesome country. This is the Mexican flag. It has three bands, a green one, a white one, and a red one. And in the middle is an eagle holding a snake in its beak on a cactus. This is considered a patriotic symbol in Mexico. In Mexico, you can find beautiful white sandy beaches, as well as ancient Aztec ruins like this one called Chichen Itza. When you're exploring, you might run into some of these creatures found all over Mexico. That little lizard looking guy is called an axolotl and is an endangered species. That means there aren't many of them left in the world. In Mexico, most people speak a language called Spanish. Do you know any words in Spanish? Maybe you know that hola is Spanish for hello. There's also a picture of a mariachi band. These bands usually consist of violins, guitars, guitarons, and vihuelas. The outfits that they wear are called charro suits. A lot of food that originated from Mexico you may eat here in America, such as a classic avocado dip called guacamole. The other food you can see is pan de muerto, which is a sweet bread usually eaten on the Mexican holiday Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. You can also see Mexican hot chocolate, which has more spices in it than what we as Americans think of as hot chocolate. Today we'll be learning a rock passing game called Al Citron, which is from Mexico. Now, Citrone refers to lemons, but this song really doesn't make any sense. It's called a nonsense song, kind of like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It just doesn't mean anything. It's just a bunch of silly words. Can you keep this steady beat with me while I sing through the whole song? Here we go. Here we go. A citron de un fandango single single sabare sabare de la rondelo con su tricky tricky tron. Great! Now let's learn how to speak these nonsense Spanish words. I go first and you repeat. Al citron de un fandango sango sango sabare sabare de la rondela con su tricky tricky tran. Awesome job! If you need more work on the Spanish, pause this, rewind, and practice speaking it a few more times. If you're ready, keep watching. We're going to sing it phrase by phrase. I'll go first, and I'll point to you when it's your turn to echo. Al citron de un fandango. Al citron de un fandango. Awesome! Next part. Sango, sango, sabare. Sango, sango, sabare. Great. Sabare de la rondela. Sabare de la rondela. Last part. Con su tricky, tricky tron. Con su tricky, tricky tron. Awesome job. Do that a couple more times and then we'll hop back in and do it all together. Let's try singing the whole song together, but this time I want you to try to keep the steady beat somewhere on your body. It can be your head, shoulders, heart, nose, lap, feet, whatever you want. Just keep that beat somewhere in your body. Ready? Here we go. Al citron de un fandango, sango, sango, sabare, sabare de la rondelo con su tricky, tricky tron. Great, let's do it one more time and try keeping the steady beat somewhere different on your body. Here we go. A citron de un fandango, sango, sango, sabare, sabare de la rondelo con su tricky, tricky tron. 
great chat. Now this is a rock passing game, so kids would sit in a circle and they'd each have a rock or some small stone to pass and they'd pick which direction they were going to pass and they would pass it to the steady beat. The only difference is at the end when we go tricky, tricky, Tron, you tricky, tricky, pass on Tron, so it kind of changes the pattern a little. We're going to start with an invisible rock, so go ahead and hold your hand out in front of you and we're going to go Alcitron. De un fandango, sango, sango, sabare. That is our tempo or our speed. So hand out. On al, we grab. And on tron, we pass. And then we keep that steady beat, which is really important in a rock passing game. Here we go. Al citron, de un fandango, sango, sango, sabare, sabare, de la rondello con su tricky, tricky tron. Did you get that tricky last part? Hold out your hand, tricky, tricky tron, and you pass on that last one. So that last phrase of the song is kind of tricky because it's a little bit different. You don't just pass the beat. You hop to the beat and then pass. All right, let's try the whole thing one more time. Remember, al citron. Al citron. You start with your own rock and then you pass and then you keep passing. Here we go. Al citron de un fandango, sango, sango, sabare, sabare de la rondello con su tricky, tricky tron. All right, boys and girls, so I'm going to be playing with spoons today. <laughs> And um, I'm here by myself, so I'm, I don't have friends to play with, but hopefully you do. But I'm going to do show you the passing game, and I have, that's why I have a pile of spoons that my dog's fascinated with. So I'm going to zoom in and show you how to play the passing game and give you a better view of it. <laughs> All right, see you in a little. All right, here's how to play the passing game. I have my pile of spoons here, but I would normally have a partner that's passing them to me, and I'd be passing it to another partner. But this is how we're doing it today to demonstrate. Here we go. Here we go. Al citron de un fandango, sango, sango, sabare, sabare de la rondello con su tricky, tricky tron. Hopefully that was helpful. You guys, it's so great on your rock passing game. To make it even more fun, you can make it an elimination game. So when you play in a circle, you're gonna have one special rock. Now, some of you who have done rock passing games in the music room with me know that I just duct taped, put fancy duct tape around the rock, and that's our magic rock, and everybody always wants it. Um, but in the game, pick one rock to be your special rock, and whoever gets it on Tricky Tricky Tron is out, and then that person would sit out, and the next person. And you could even play it when you get out, and you go and find a pot and pan and help keep the steady beat on that. And you play for a winner. Another thing to do is play with the song's tempo. Tempo is the speed of the beat, so you can start at nice moderato or medium tempo. Al citron de un fandango, sango, sango. And then gradually try to speed up to Al citron de un fandango, sango, sango, sabare, sabare. And get faster and faster and see who can mess up and who can keep with it. So these are just a couple fun ways to change the game a little bit. So uh, I hope you have fun with it. All right, boys and girls, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for coming to Mexico. It was a pretty long trip, but I had a lot of fun teaching El Citron and learning a little bit about the country of Mexico. Have a great day, and I'll see you for Tall Tale Thursday tomorrow.